And this is just a picture, well, not a picture, this is our website showing our current, some of our current members. So, but first of all, before we go and discuss more about LinkedIn, I'd just like you to go to Google, google.com.au here, and type in your name. And I've just typed in Fleur Allen, hopefully I've spelt it right. And as you can see on the first page of Google, the second listing is LinkedIn. Now for me, I'm very active as you can see. These images, except for that one, are like related to me. Um, so I'm very active um, making sure I'm found online. So that's why my blog's above the LinkedIn profile. But normally that's number one or two, or definitely on the first page, depending on how active you are in being found. And the reason why it's good to have a LinkedIn profile is one, you can have an account for free. And two, LinkedIn spends a lot of time, effort and money on making sure their profiles, the people that are listed on their website, are found. So that's a good thing and it's not costing you any money. So let's just go to my profile. This is my profile here. And it's quite extensive. As you can see, there's a lot of information there. A lot of people say to me, is that uh, good to have so much information? The answer is yes because I've done a variety of things. So when people meet me and hear that I've done a variety of things, then they would expect when they see my profile that it's showing that I've done a variety of things. So you need to be consistent and it builds your credibility for new contacts. Because when you are networking, particularly in person, people do tend to Google your name. Despite if you've got given them a business card, they look at your website, they want to just see what happens, what comes up when they Google your name, see what comes up on Facebook, what comes up on LinkedIn, um, etc, etc. So that's the reason why you need to have a LinkedIn profile. And here is how you go about setting it up. So if you've already got a LinkedIn profile, you can stop the video now. But if you don't, it takes about two minutes to start up the basics to create the account. So I'm going to call myself Suzanne Charlie. Charlie's my son's name. And I'll use try and use an uh, email I haven't used on LinkedIn, which I think is, uh, which one would it be? Flair? No, that would be my current one. Let's just, I'll, I'll see if my old email address is still registered on LinkedIn. Just make up a password that you remember. Email it was already used, so I'll just, sorry about this. I'll just try one of my other email addresses. My Interactive Arts URL is still current. That's my old business, my very first business. Okay, so that's successful. So what they're saying here is you've just the account um, is the second step of it being created. If you put in um, your details here of your email address, so what they're trying to do is search your contacts already on your computer. So just skip this step because we can worry about who you connected with later and just put in um, these basics. I'm putting in 6,000 and my job title is not business owner, that's a bit boring, head networker at out of the box biz. Now if you're a lawyer or stockbroker or an accountant or any other thing, then just put your, you know, what you are sort of thing. Don't uh, make it guesswork. I'm just doing that for fun because there's no profession other than for a networker, really. Out of the Box Biz is my company, it's my business, um, and I'm going. There's nothing for networking, so I'm just going to be have to be a little creative, and don't want to put other, and I'll put some events. So you, if you can't find the category that industry that suits, just put something because you can always come back and change that. The purpose is just to make sure you create the profile. So this is creating a free profile and then it's asking me to confirm my email address, which that should come up immediately. If it doesn't, we'll just use my existing profile. And I wonder if it's gone to junk. Nope. Go back and it's just going to take some time. So let's not worry about that. So when you go back in, you click on the email and then you should be able to go back into your profile. Um, so I'll just sign in my existing one so I can just show you one final point, which is very important because otherwise it will drive you bananas. And I don't know why, why that 
it's coming up is the wrong password. That should be right, that one. Yep. Okay. So what your profile will come up with no photo. Um, it's good to put a photo up, but the very first thing you need to do, otherwise this is going to drive you bananas. Normally an icon comes up here, so there's one, two, three, four icon, icons. So on the furthest one on the right, or just go to that space. Then go down to Privacy and Settings. And what you need to do is switch off all the email notifications, because if you leave them on, you'll get about 10, 20, 30, 40 emails per day from LinkedIn and it'll drive you bananas. So click on communications, set the frequency of emails and where there's a um, edit button here just check so I've got no email and what you do, then do is just log on to your LinkedIn account at least once a week to see what's going on. So that's personal choice but I put no email. So sometimes when I sign up to something, their default is to give you a weekly email. So I'm just checking mine to make sure this is no email. Now I used to be the president of this group. I'm now no longer the president of that group, so I now not, don't need to manage that. So I don't need to receive emails on that, but I can check it. Once you log in to LinkedIn, you can just see um, what the activity has been. And I'm just updating mine. So as you can see, it just takes a few seconds. Because I'm actually on LinkedIn every day due to the nature of what I do. So that's why I have no email or anything. You may want to, um, when someone contacts you or whatever, you may decide to receive an email there. So it's your personal choice. Okay, so that's why you should have a LinkedIn profile. And the next video, I'll do in some more videos on why, um, on what you should put up, um, the photos and all that sort of stuff, and also explain the differences between endorsements and recommendations. But for now, I think this video is long enough. So all the best, and I look forward to connecting with you on LinkedIn.